We've brought the world tour of innovation to the Boston area to show you law enforcement's new weapon in the war on drugs of abuse. Meet Maura Fitzpatrick. She's a director of product management in this area of the business, involved with portable analysis of chemicals and a third generation tool that we're launching here with the thermoscientific TrueNARC. Tell us about this new innovation for law enforcement. This is our TrueNARC analyzer. We're very excited about it. It's this handheld tool designed to be used in the field to identify uh, suspected drugs of abuse by law enforcement professionals. And what are the challenges that are being faced today that this is really going to solve? Most narcotics detectives will use a presumption field test or a colometric wet chemistry kit mm -hmm. where they'll seize suspected drugs, they'll do a quick test on it, they'll get an indication of what it might be and then they have to send that sample to the lab. Mm -hmm. Then they have to wait quite a bit to get the results back from the lab and while they're waiting that person can't be prosecuted. It's quite a game changer. They're going to be able to do an identification right there once the drugs are seized. They don't have to wait for that lab's results come back. So talk about the class of drugs of abuse and really what this is detecting. The TrueNARC uses Raman spectroscopy which is a great technique. It can analyze almost all the key drugs of abuse which include methamphetamine, cocaine, heroin. It can also identify many pain analgesics so such as oxycontin or morphine and it can also do many emerging threats like bath salts which are known as cathinones and are just recently classified as a controlled substance by the DEA. So let me show you how the thermoscientific TrueNARC analyzer works. It's a small handheld instrument. You hold the sample of interest up against the nose cone. You hit this key corresponding with the scan button. It's going to take a few seconds to collect data. It's going to shine a little bit of light into that sample and then it's going to compare the data it collects on an onboard library. It's going to compare it around a hundred or so different drugs of abuse. It's also going to look for common cutting agents and precursors that go into the manufacturing process for illicit drugs. And then after it's finished analyzing, it's going to put the result right on the screen there. And it's going to tell you, okay, this is what I've identified. And if you've identified a narcotic, it's going to display it on the result screen. Customers love this technology. Tell us about the feedback. Feedback's been great. So we've had the opportunity to test it all over the world, all over Asia, Europe, and the United States. Lots of different law enforcement professionals who have run into different types of drugs of abuse depending on what region they're in. We've been very pleased with the feedback. They like its simplicity, it's easy to use, doesn't require a lot of training. Basically, you just point and shoot, hold it up against a sample, and it will tell you what it is. Thanks for watching another progress report, and see more at thermoscientific.com.